Hello guys, today we'll be uh, checking out my um, Lionel Train collection. Before we go, please go subscribe and um, like this video. And let's get right on to it. I set my um, Lionel track up on my bed. And just to let you guys know, I do have K-Line and Lionel and some other stuff like MTH and stuff. So the first train we have is gonna be rolling in on the track. This is a Reading and Northern coal car given to me by Andy Muller. Yes, I met him. So I took a train ride up from Port Clinton, Pennsylvania to Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. And it's very nice. I love it. The lettering's backwards. It's very nice. I like it. And it's very special to me. Let's put that off to the side. Next one is a CSX gondola or whatever these I know the name for these cars, but I just forget them. This is CSX. Very nice. I like it. Very nice. Yeah, nothing very special about it, but I like it. Next up, we have a Redding Lines, a Redding Company, or Redding Lines coal car. The coal flow does come off. I'll take it off with you guys. And there's the inside. Super nice. I love this. This is one of my favorite extinct railroads in the U.S. Put that on, back on the track. So... The next one is a Bethlehem Steel um, car. These are the tactical, same with the other one. Really nice. I just got this one for Christmas last year, and I like it. Very nice. And if you're wondering... What Bethlehem Steel is, it's um, it's an old steel company that went out of business in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. The so next one we have a is a RBMNN, Reading Blue Mountain and Northern Railroad boxcar. Really nice. The doors open right there. Same with the other side. It's very nice. I love it. Like all the others. Others. I might have to make a part two to this episode. Because I have a lot. The next one is a... One that goes to a train set. It's a, a unit, I guess. I know... I know this is an F unit, but it's some other type of F unit. It's another Reading Company one. It's very nice. It does work, but I don't have the um, stuff hooked up. And next one is a baggage car, but I like to keep it with the F units. More Reading Company. There's the bottom. It's K line. Same with the other one. So I just like to keep those cars together because they look cool together. The next one we have a, is a passenger car. It's Red and Company. It goes with that same set. And here it is. Right there. Basically same features. I like it. And the passenger cars and the baggage car lights up. Here's one that does not go to the set but is very similar to that set. It's a Reading Company 
It's a lion. It's a red and company Lionel Dome car. And yes, it does light up. Super cool. The next one is goes to that set. It's a K line dome car. Very nice. Does light up. Very nice. People in the windows. Same with the other ones. And the set is limited edition. If you can't tell right there. Because it's it's limited edition. The next one is a Red and Northern Caboose. I got this one for Christmas last year too. And it does light up. It has a little light right there. And it's very nice. I love Reading and Northern since I met the owner of Andy Moore in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. And this one is another F unit right here. It's another F unit. Same thing as the other one, just a different number right there. So, so, and then the next one, I have to go around my table to get, and I'll be right back. It's there. I got a Lionel, um, a Pennsylvania Railroad Caboose. Sorry, guys, if it's backwards, but there. PRR, Pennsylvania Railroad. Super nice. And I like it. And then that was to one of my sets. It was to one of my sets for it. The next one is one of my favorites. It's another 